We're here at AUSA 2017 and I'm talking to Dr. Tom Van Doren, Vice President, Bladeworks HDT Global. Tom, we're standing beside HDT's Hunter Wolf, an offering for the US Army's SMET requirement. Could you give us a little bit of background on that requirement and then talk us through some of the technicalities and, and perhaps unique features of the platform, please? Yes. So SMED is the Squad Multipurpose Equipment Transport Program for the U.S. Army, and the idea is to reduce the burden on foot soldiers uh, by having a small robot that can carry uh, a lot of gear, supplies, food, water, ammunition for the soldiers so they're not dragging around 100 pounds of kit on their back. Um, so the, the program is going uh, through a down select right now. So last week we were at Fort Benning uh, doing uh, our part of a competition uh, which consisted of a number of very, very rigorous tests at Fort Benning. The Army is going to down select uh, up to four vendors to go into phase two of the SMIP uh, program which will consist of some uh, year or year and a half long trials with uh, brigade combat teams. HDT's previous robot offerings uh, have been tracked. Yeah. It's very clear to see that Hunter Wolf is wheeled. Yeah. Uh, could you perhaps talk us through the thought processes that led to the, the change from a tracked to a wheeled solution? So we've been working on our uh, SMET vehicle for about six years now and have done a, uh, many years of very, very rigorous testing. With some of the requirements for the U.S. Army, they want to be able to tow the vehicles at a very high speed. Uh, they also want the vehicles to be very, very quiet uh, so that they don't announce to the enemy that you're coming. Um, and also energy efficiency and the range of the vehicle became very important as well as price. So when we balanced out all of the requirements as they were evolving, we determined and we did some testing with uh, electrically driven tracked and wheeled vehicles. Uh, we determined that the, the wheeled vehicles and the special wheels that we've got, which are Michelin wheels, uh, gave the best balance of very low noise, um, high efficiency, very mobile, uh, it can operate at very, very high speeds also. So we changed uh, to this system and I think our, our change uh, to the wheeled uh, vehicle was validated last week at Fort Benning. The vehicle did extremely well in very, very rugged terrain, swamps, hills, logs, uh, everything you could uh, possibly imagine. Uh, and you mentioned twheels. A lot of people will, will have no clue what a twheel is. Yes. Could, could you explain the technicalities of a twheel compared to a normal pneumatic tyre? Okay. So the twheel does not have an air-filled cavity in it. It has uh, ribs on it and then it has a spring-loaded um, outer uh, surface with the, the, the tyre surface on it. These give a tremendous amount of traction because uh, the, the contact patch for the twill is, is pretty large, which gives uh, A, very good traction, B, it lowers the ground pressure uh, for the system when you're going over very soft ground or mud. Um, so you get, you get a, a nice combination of a very robust system that can't deflate. Um, at some of the testing we've done, competitors who have used pneumatic tires suffer a tremendous number of flats. Uh, so we don't get a flat tire. Uh, and it also has traction and performance approaching a track uh, off-road because you get such good uh, um, uh, spreading of the load over the twheel surface. Uh, and in terms of propulsion, uh, is it diesel, electric, diesel electric? It is diesel electric. So again, from the, the quiet running capability, we have lithium ion batteries in the system which allow us to drive the electric motors uh, almost silently. Okay, so when, the, when a, a unit using one of these vehicles needs to be very, very quiet, they can be quiet. It also has a 20 kilowatt diesel generator in it which creates the electric power that charges the battery sets. The generator is nicely 
contained within the robot chassis, so it is very quiet. Uh, but that gives us a very, very efficient system that, um, just like a, 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 a hybrid automobile, um, they get very, very good gas mileage. We get very good fuel mileage, which is important uh, to d reduce the amount of fuel that you have to carry so that you can go a very, very long ways. Uh, so we think that the system that we've developed uh, gives the user, gives the operator, the absolute best um, combination of tremendous power. Uh, we've got 130 horsepower worth of electric motors in the, in the system. Uh, so they have tremendous uh, ability to climb uh, hills with a 450 kilogram load or a thousand pound load, uh, as well as do that silently. Uh, but when the, the unit needs to go 60 or 100 miles, uh, they've got onboard fuel that will allow them to do that, never have to stop to recharge batteries. And, and is the platform teleoperated or fully autonomous, or, or does it have the, the, the option or the capability to be both? So, as constructed right here, as you see it here, and in order to keep the price down, it's a remotely controlled vehicle, okay, like a big RC car. Um, we have all of the computing hooks in it, all of the computing capability to be able to layer on kits that take it all the way to full autonomy. Okay, uh, so initially the Army is going to use this as a as simple a system as they can uh, to carry the load and not have very many autonomous behaviors. But since the autonomous um, uh, technology, the autonomy technology is advancing so rapidly, we designed the vehicle so that you can uh, put autonomy kits on it, all kinds of cameras and sensors, and if they have a six month or one year uh, uh, development cycle, you can improve that technology much more rapidly than the vehicle itself will change. So the vehicle is gonna be usable over decades, potentially, even as some of the um, sensor technology, some of the autonomy kits uh, get very, very sophisticated and allow this thing to run missions on its own without human intervention. So this is an expandable platform. Thank you very much.